Northern Michigan University and Michigan Tech are gearing up for tomorrow's WCHA championship game. It's being played at the Barry Events Center and TV6's Alex Klein catches up with each school's spirit squads to find out the hype existing between the two hockey rivals. As the first Upper Peninsula WCHA championship game, the hype is real. No one can talk about anything else. That's the whole thing that's like been coming up every class. There's people uh, talking about the game, saying if they're going to be there, if they're not going to be there, what they're doing before, what they're doing after. Wildcats versus Huskies. The rivalry goes back decades. A love-hate relationship that will be fueling the excitement and adding to the stakes of the game. Michigan Tech will be in enemy territory, and the pep band is getting ready to make a big presence to represent the fans that won't be able to make it to the game. In the last couple weeks, it, we have been really loud and energetic, but the fact that it's against probably the biggest rival that we have it'll make it a lot more exciting for all of us and we'll be able to bring a lot more energy to the game. The black and yellow will stick out like a sore thumb in a sea of green, gold and white. But the Huskies aren't worried about getting drowned out. Both teams have had an exceptional season splitting their season series at two wins apiece. So the championship is anyone's game. I'm really looking forward to the atmosphere that the people all around me can bring. Uh, they'll be really energetic and they'll make sure it's a great time as well as um, being really loud and supporting Michigan Tech hockey. The Wildcats are prepared to bring it. Every fan in attendance will receive a spirit towel to wipe away any tears the Huskies fans might have. I'm looking forward to just the energy. I love being in high energy arenas, high energy crowds. If you couldn't get tickets to the game, both NMU and Michigan Tech are hosting watch parties at the universities. Puck drop is set for 7.07. Alex Klein, TV6 News.